So the plan for today is I want to just do some kind of like drawing practice. I want to practice more drawing things either from life or like from photos just to kind of work on form, light and shadow and different details and all the things basically like just everything. I went through a stage where I felt bad if I had to use photo reference. I think I'd just compare myself to other illustrators that seemed to be able to create things just from their heads but they probably also do use photo reference and even if they don't use photo reference now they've probably used photo reference a lot in the past and it's only through a lot of practice that they maybe don't need that anymore so we are going to use color pencils my love <laughs> i've got like a whole bunch of photos on my phone that i've been like collecting into an album this and these are all photos that i have taken there's me and tom i think that was around was that january when it snowed yeah so mostly here it's just a whole load of like kind of landscapes and things oh i've also got I've also got a couple of animals from when we went to the retreat because I thought it might be like cool to practice drawing some animals. But yeah, I think for today, I just want to practice drawing something kind of abstracty. I, I think I want to draw something like a landscape that doesn't really matter if I get the likeness right and I want to kind of focus on colour and light and shadow. I think those are the main ones I'm going to do. I could maybe just have a go at drawing these like nice daisies. That might just be quite a nice image to do. And then the other very exciting thing that you have to look forward to <laughs> is I've done, I did some filming the other day. It was a bit of packing footage and a bit of making like a TikTok thing. That's probably enough of an intro. Let's just get into the drawing. I made a six hour long playlist <laughs> on Spotify, which I have called Sunday Afternoon. It's not a Sunday. It is kind of afternoon, well, it's evening. I kind of just wanted like a sort of happy chilled playlist that it's kind of got quite a lot of old like nostalgic songs that basically my parents listen to and like stuff that i like as well but like i don't know just stuff that makes me feel kind of calm and happy and nostalgic and i said nostalgic already uh, but it's also got some like folky stuff on it uh, it, there is a mixture. If anybody wants a six hour <laughs> playlist of some songs that they might not find nostalgic because they might have not listened to them when they were growing up, but I don't know, you might you might like some of the stuff on there. You might not. I will leave the link <laughs> in the description. So my warm up for this was doing a little bit of a dance and then I started drawing the daisies just using this green pencil to do the outline and it's been a while since I've just drawn and not done like a sketch first um, because at the moment what I've been doing is I do a sketch on my iPad then I like print that off and then use my light box to kind of like trace over that. I kind of want to move away from my light box a little bit. There's something about when you first draw something when it seems to have a bit more life and I feel sometimes when I use my light box and I'm kind of going over it again it can kind of lose that. I'm not entirely sure why. So I think going forwards I might try doing some very rough sketches and use my light box but maybe just to kind of position things and get like the composition but not to completely trace things i don't know this is a, just an idea that i am coming up with now <laughs> so we will see i may change my mind in the future but yeah i've 
really was enjoying drawing all these daisies. So at this point I'm going around them with a darker green just to make them stand out. So my main things I was trying to work on with this, as I mentioned before, was like light and colour and shadow and stuff. And I was using the photo that I'd taken for reference but I still wanted it to look like an illustration. Yeah, I didn't want it to look completely photorealistic, but I did want to get down a lot of the shadows. Another thing I want to work on with my colour pencils is trying to create something that's a bit sort of softer lines. I do like the block colours. Maybe we'll still use a bit of block colour, but I don't know, I kind of want to blend the pencils together a little bit more experiment. I think I'm feeling like this because I've been working on my Mother Seagull and the Ocean King picture book. I kind of had to stick to that style which was quite a lot of like outlines and block colours and very like bright vibrant colours which was really fun but I kind of yeah want to experiment more with things now. So this is how far I've got. I really like it um obviously i need to do a lot more yeah i feel like i've been a bit more loose with my drawing which is something that i'm trying to work on the other thing i'm trying to work on as well is if i'm drawing something like a field of daisies not being like oh i have to draw every single daisy so like i'm pretty sure that this doesn't look exactly like the photo but it's an illustration so it's not really meant to look exactly the same. I like the shapes that I've created so far so yeah I'm now planning on filling the rest of this in green and then I'm gonna try and work on doing some shadows and stuff but first of all I'm really hungry so I'm gonna eat. I might actually show you the rest of this tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner now. I really want to watch Dark, but I can't because Tom's not home yet. We're gonna have to save that for later. Dark is amazing. It is a German sci-fi drama, kind of supernatural. The title, Dark, does fit it very well because the themes in it are quite dark. I don't know if I want to say too much and thank you to my sister and her fiance Joe for recommending that to us. We had actually seen the first episode ages ago but I think we watched it dubbed. I don't know why I don't think we just got into it and then the next time we watched it we watched it with the like subtitles so in the original German with English subtitles. I think maybe partly that made us like focus on the TV show more because like we couldn't be looking at our phones and you know doing lots of other things at the same time. So yeah maybe that made us pay attention more. But yeah it's really good. The casting is amazing and I don't think it's too much of a spoiler if I say it's got time travel in it. You know me, if it, if it has time travel in it, I'm pretty much gonna like it. But it has also got some quite, quite dark themes in it as well. So not necessarily a, uh, <laughs> a happy, uplifting show, but it's very, very interesting. Something happy that I did watch the other day is I watched the Lego <laughs> movie the, the second one. I just think they're really charming. Um, I love the animation and they're just like silly and fun. So depending on what mood you're in, if you're in the mood for something quite dark, then watch dark. <laughs> and if you're in the mood for just some silly humour and like quite fun animation, then watch the Lego movie. Also prints. I have, so this is half a win. I have put up some of my prints. The um, the plan was to have this whole area behind me with all my prints. Tom has been <laughs> like saying to me for ages, Emma, put your prints up. But yeah, I really like having other people's artwork as well. It does make more sense to have 
like my prints behind me because I don't usually face this direction. So I only really kind of get to see these, well, when I turn around or like when I'm filming or like editing and I'm looking in the background and I'm like, oh yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? I don't know if you can even see it. It's kind of obscured a little bit by the reflection of the window. Let's, let's give you a close up anyway. So we have a plant corner here. This guy really needs repotting, I think, and also dusting. So dusty. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, one lovely tiger print. I got this from Oh Dear. I can't remember the actual name of the artist. So I need to find a new home for the tiger. And I think I'm going to put up my one, like my big print of my blueberries, probably. You might have seen when I unboxed these, I got three different sizes because I wanted to test it out, but I kind of fancy having the really big one there, but then I just need to get a square frame. And then I need to decide where I'm gonna put the tiger. Probably, maybe I'll put the tiger up here somewhere and just reorder these things around. Yeah, I've still got these tiny illustrations from Holly Exley. And that one, and these were part of, she did like, I think it was for Mother's Day, um, which is just such a cute idea. But yeah, so all the prints from other people, I will definitely be keeping. I'll just be moving them around. This one is Mr. Tibbles, which is by my friend, Sammy Clark. I think there is actually a new version of Mr. Tibbles, because this is kind of like her older style, but it's still so adorable. So we'll, we will find a new home for Mr. Tibbles. And yeah, so these are the prints that are mine. The Royal Froggies and Toads. My Positive Plants prints. Both of those I have stickers of as well. Then this one, which I'm calling Blooming Tea. And it's sort of like a magical teacup flower garden illustration <laughs> thingy. So I'm counting that as half a win because I've put half of my prints up and the rest I will do when I get the right size frames. Thank you so much to everybody who's bought some prints. Um, I think Brooke and Jessica, you were the first ones to get the prints. So yeah, thank you very much. Morning, everyone. It is the next day now and I didn't actually do any more drawing to that daisy drawing. I just ended up having some dinner and then having a bath and then I didn't do anything else. So I'm gonna hopefully finish that drawing off today. I can hear Tom rustling in the background. Morning, Tom. Tom's being sneaky and quiet. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna make some soup, I think, because I have a leak. Tom, we have a leak in the fridge. <laughs> My joke only works if someone responds to me. <laughs> this kind of leak. I um, <laughs> I do love a dad's joke. Anyway, I'm gonna try and make soup. I like my outfit today. I am i don't know if you can see the whole thing. I said to Tom that I'm feeling quite kind of cottage core, like the vibe, apart from the leopard print hair scrunchie. Do I really have a good definition of cottage core? Not really. <laughs> and my, my definition was, you know, it's like a cottagey, like aesthetic. Tom's response was really cute. Tom, do you want to share or should I just say what you said? Tom, what did you say exactly? Like, I don't look like a cottage and I need some windows and a chimney <laughs> and like some ivy climbing up me or something. That would actually be a really cute illustration to do sometime actually. Like somebody dressed as a cottage and, and that it's cottage core. That would actually be quite cute. Anyway, I'm going to make soup. I'm going to Finish off the daisy drawing. Maybe I just wanted to look like my daisy drawing by wearing this top. And oh, I also filmed the other day, I filmed a tiny, tiny bit of packing footage. And also I filmed making a TikTok, which actually took the majority of the time. So I will insert that footage in here sometime as well. <laughs>
very kindly been packing my orders so yeah thank you so much Tom. I've had a couple more orders come through and I'm actually going to film a TikTok of packing but I thought I might actually put down some of the tissue paper as kind of like a nice backdrop. I usually do these like packing footage um, like clips on TikTok but I thought it might look kind of cute if I try and do kind of like a stop motion thing with packing. I tried stop motion before with penguins. Also, sorry, I'm not showing you my face because I've like, <laughs> it's early in the morning. <laughs> so hopefully just watching this is entertainment enough. I thought I would actually try, I might even try and see what it's like making the box as in like trying to look like the box is kind of like magically making itself and then packing itself we'll see if that works but i thought that having this as a background as well might look quite nice rather than just the table i've like put some washi tape on the edges just to stop that moving around but yeah we're just gonna have a bit of an experiment so it is taking an age but it's actually going quite well I just think it looks so cute it just looks like it's magical and <laughs> it's quite clunky and I probably need to speed the clips up a little bit this is just one section basically I'm actually making this on Instagram reels because they have the align tool on that which I find easier I don't know maybe TikTok to have something similar so I've just been doing it in little sections so I think I've just got the daisy cat left to pack <laughs> which would take me probably just a couple of seconds but this is taking quite a few minutes but it's fun I I'm not gonna do these for like all of them it just looks kind of magical doesn't it so basically what I'm going to be doing is this daisy cat is just going to kind of <laughs> waddle along. I'm sure you know how stop motion basically works. Um, usually you do it with like lots of photos. Um, I'm not taking that many photos. I'm just, I mean, it would be kind of smoother the more photos you take. But basically I'm just going to hold it down for a couple of seconds and then probably speed it up. But I'm just literally going to go bloop, stop. And then move that a little bit, move this a little bit, and then just do it again. And then this is the align button. It only appears once you've taken the first little clip. So if you press that, then you can see this kind of like ghost image. But yeah, I don't know if there is a way that you can do this on TikTok as well. Um, maybe there is, let me know if there is but yeah I'm just gonna be waddling this little daisy cat onto the screen oh and then I need to close the box yeah wrap it up close it all things that should take a very short amount of time but will take a lot longer <laughs> true stuff now I ended up having two bowls of soup for lunch <laughs> so that is definitely going to keep me full for a while and yeah now I'm gonna carry on doing this 
washed out drawing. <laughs> Gonna carry on doing this drawing. As you can see, I'm exactly where I was before. Yeah, so I've got a lot to do. We watched a little bit of Dark as well, and I guessed one of the little twist reveal things. So feeling quite smug about that. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm just gonna get on with drawing. I need to take off my earrings, otherwise if I put my headphones on, squish. Yeah, they just won't be comfortable with headphones, but look how cute they are. I got these from a seller on Etsy. I'll see if I can remember where I got them from. I'm really liking it. It's coming together well, I think. I've got low battery on my phone. I need to charge that up. I've finished listening to Six of Crows and I'm just downloading Crooked Kingdom, which is the next one in the Grisha verse. Yeah, really enjoying those. They're like the Shadow and Bone books. Um, you might have seen Shadow and Bone, it's like a new series on Netflix, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, I'm really getting back into listening to audiobooks again. I kind of go through a stage where like, sometimes I end up listening to loads of like podcasts, and sometimes I'm listening to music, and sometimes YouTube, and yeah, I feel like I'm getting back into listening to audiobooks again. Um, I know there's a few of you who have read all the Grisha verse books. I think I'm saying that right, Grisha verse. It starts with the Shadow and Bone trilogy, so there's three of those, and then there's the two like Six of Crow books. But yeah, really enjoying this series. For the Netflix show, if you've seen that, they've taken those like two separate series and put them together. So some of the characters that are in the TV show, you don't actually get to meet them to like later on. But yeah, the Six of Crows books are really good as well because they've kind of got this like heist sort of element to it. So it slightly feels a little bit like an episode of like Hustle or something, but with like the fantasy world stuff in it as well. Um, but yeah, I don't want to give too much away. Um, but yeah, would recommend watching the TV show and reading the series as well. Also, I really like the fact that in the TV show they did actually add all the characters in because I really like the characters from Six of Crows. But I also like the fact that the books are separate um, because I do think it would be too much if it was in one book to have them all in there. Anyway, enough rambling about books. Um, I'm gonna hopefully finish this today. I'm finding it hard to know when to stop. I do want to colour the daisies in a little bit as well because I've mainly just been working on like the grass and stuff. As you can see there's actually some pink daisies in here as well. So yeah I'm gonna add a bit of pink. Yes yeah, so I'm just gonna keep drawing for a bit. I do probably need to 
like finish this video soon though because tomorrow uh, me and Tom have got the day off and we've got a few days off for Tom's birthday. So here is the finished illustration. It is now the next day. I did actually finish this last night. It was yeah quite late in the evening when I finished this and I finished it whilst I was on like a group arts call that I have with my friends. So yeah, I'm so pleased with it. In some ways I feel like I could keep going and going and going but I think it's at a really good place at the moment where you know it still looks like an illustration. But yeah, I love all the colours and stuff. I'm definitely gonna do more of this. But yeah, on my phone I've got a whole load of stuff that I've saved for drawing practice. But yeah, so I've got loads of photos to go through. So yeah, I think this is definitely an exercise that I'm gonna do a lot more. Also, I just love the kind of shape that I've made and the fact that I haven't made this like a perfect square. I think that is something else that I really want to try and do more, like don't worry about things being perfect and have things a little bit more kind of skew with. Um, <laughs> that's a term, right? and yeah just kind of a bit more expressive thanks so much for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it i hope it was long enough i feel like i have rambled a lot as per usual so i've probably padded it out with lots of rambling let me know if you've watched dark let me know if you've also watched shadow and bone um or if you've read any of the grisha verse books and let me know what, who your favorite character is i really like nina and I really like Inej as well, they're my favourites. Oh, don't forget that I also have prints available on my Etsy shop if you want to check any of those out. The other thing, I said I was going to update you about my picture book that I've been working on. So I have actually started submitting to some agents, so that's really exciting. And yeah, I feel really pleased that I've actually put together a pitch and I've actually emailed some people. So that feels really, really good. It might be a couple of months uh, before I update you again, because obviously now I need to wait to hear back from people. But yeah, it feels really good to have actually like made that step. I, I felt like I learned a lot just from doing the pitch. If you're completely new and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Basically, for the last couple of years, I've been working on a pitch book and I've been... Why am I telling you this at the end of a video? I don't know. <laughs> you can basically... There's a playlist. So if you want to catch up, in case you've missed anything, I'll put a, a playlist in the description where you can go and catch up on all the pitch book stuff. There's also a playlist if you want to just go and catch up on any other studio vlogs as well. I think that's definitely enough rambling. So I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've already said that. <laughs> um, I'm sending you lots and lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Of these three little fairy folk or fae folk or, sorry, that's really annoying with the reflection. I think that one's a bit crooked. Ignore the crookedness. <laughs> Focus on my face, please. No? I'm really blurry again. Um, never mind. <laughs> Soft focus. Extra flattering. My eyes are starting to water. And I'm assuming the leak is actually related to onions. I'm holding back a tear. Can you see how watery my eyes are? Tom exists. Hi Tom. Another random photo that I've taken. Like it's, I, I, cause I can't form a sentence today. Okay, so yeah, I think <laughs> I'm so awkward. I don't know if this is gonna be a shorter vlog. Probably not. If I continue to ramble, I'll probably manage to uh, stretch it out, which I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Am I a bit too exposed? Is this okay? I don't mean exposed as in, <laughs> I mean is the lighting too exposed? I think I'm dressed okay. I was trying to see if I could see you in the background, Tom. I don't think anyone believes you're here. Thank you for coming, I know that you're trying to do